Hey guys, welcome to the first episode in what I hope will be a new series called AFL Fix It. In this series, we're going to look at Guernseys that have a reputation as being some of the worst the AFL has ever seen, and we'll see if we can turn them into something at least half decent. And in this episode, we're looking at Brisbane's 2007 Clash Jumper. Okay, so what specifically is wrong with this jumper design? Well first, it's the blue and gold gradient at the top and bottom of the jumper. This Guernsey became known as the pea stain jumper because of that bit of gold at the bottom. It doesn't look great. The other part that doesn't work for me is the line and the claw marks, just kind of placed randomly on the sides of the jumper. As separate elements, maybe they could work, but where they are now, just awkwardly overlapping the sides of the jumper, it doesn't work. So for these new designs, I've come up with a couple of rules I have to follow, just so I create something that looks remotely like the original design. The first rule is that the jumper has to be mostly white, and the second rule is that I have to use blue and gold as the other main colours of the jumper. I've come up with three different designs, and I want you guys to pick which one is your favourite in the comments below. The first two designs follow these rules, while jumper three is me working with complete freedom. Design one, we've kept the big line on the side of the jumper, We've just made him a bit bigger. Instead of a blue gradient at the top, I've gone with a solid blue, which is obviously more in line with the Lion's home jumper. I don't think this design is anything special. The big problem with making a jumper with these colours is that it ends up looking like a Gold Coast Guernsey. Obviously nowadays Brisbane wouldn't make a Clash jumper in these colours, but you know, back then in the mid 2000s, there was no Gold Coast. So we have to kind of keep that in mind as we look at these. For design two, I've decided to try one with the gradient. I know that's the bit that everyone hates, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. Instead of the big line at the side, I've centered it, again similar to where the line sits on the home jumper. I don't mind this design, I'm not saying it's a great jumper by any means, but compared to the original, I think this is a better way of doing this gradient idea. I will admit that it probably looks more like a training jumper than an actual game day jumper though. Design 3, I've thrown out the blue completely and focused more on the maroon and gold. If Brisbane have to have a white clash jumper, which I don't think they do, but if the AFL insist on it, then I think this should be it. The design stays consistent with the home and Fitzroy away jumper designs, and the colours give it a bit of a Brisbane Bears feel, which is always nice. So that is my attempt at fixing the Lions 2007 clash jumper. Again, let me know which design is your favourite in the comments below and any ugly jumpers you'd like to see me try and fix. But until next time guys, I'll see you later.